Hey guys, it is time for another episode of Create This Book, and I know that it's been too long since the last episode of this, um, and I've been missing it, so I'm really excited to get back into this series. So let's jump into the pages that we're going to be doing today, starting with page 12, and the directions say, create a page of garbage. Draw, photograph, write down, or attach a bunch of items that you regularly throw away. So I thought this would be a cool prompt to include because it kind of just gets you thinking about something that you normally don't think about, you know, something like trash. You just kind of throw it out and don't really look at it or think about it again. You know, you can use anything as a subject for art or for creativity. Um, and so this just kind of gets you more in that mindset. Yeah, all that to say, I just thought it would be cool to do a page about trash. So <laughs> let's get started with that. Okay, and next is page 160 and the directions say, create patterns, fill this page with patterns. Pretty much any pattern that you create looks cool just because it's a pattern and I especially love patterns. I don't know why, I just really like them and I think most people do. We're just like drawn to that repetition and it just looks nice when things are repeated. Yeah, let's get into that now. The next page I'm going to be doing is page 191 and the directions say create a combo. Think of two of your favorite people, animals, or objects. Combine them. This is a definite creative page. You'll have to get out your creative brain and think of some interesting ideas because you're kind of just like taking two things that you like and creating a new thing. If you're planning on drawing for this page, I can see it being kind of challenging because Probably you're gonna this is gonna be something that you've invented yourself And so it's gonna be something that you're not gonna be able to see out in real life Which means you'll have to be drawing from your imagination. I actually prefer drawing from my imagination, but I know a lot of people Prefer to look at something while they're drawing so you could always do like um, magazine clippings and put stuff together like in a collage type way Photoshop, if you know how to do Photoshop, it would be really easy to do this page and then print it out and put it on the book. So yeah, let's do that now. Alright, and next is page 227 and the directions say create blind artwork, do a painting or drawing while closing your eyes. And who doesn't just love to do that? I mean, it's 
something that I'm sure we've all done at some point just to see what happens, but I think this is a nice prompt for people like me who tend to be perfectionists and like to plan everything, which there's nothing wrong with that. I really enjoy doing that, but it is good to every once in a while just kind of chill and just let loose and do things without thinking and without planning and it's probably gonna be a hot mess and I'm gonna have to deal with that and I'm prepared to do so. Um, it'll probably be a really fun process but at the end I'll be like, oh my gosh. But you know, part of the purpose of this book is to challenge you and I'm going to take this challenge and I'm not gonna cheat at all, I promise you. Yeah, let's get into that now. say create nostalgia think of a way to make this page sentimental um, so yeah if you don't know what nostalgia is it's just like means the same thing as sentimental hopefully you know what one of those words means but uh, it's just like you know thinking about the past and like an awe type of way and getting all I can't think of any word but sentimental about it um you know all these little memories and ooh it was so beautiful and whatever you know anything that just kind of makes you feel like warm and fuzzy about the past I don't know what I'm talking about okay let's get into that now So I will just go through them quickly and talk about them a little bit more if you care to hear what I have to say. The trash page I ended up really liking. Um, it was surprisingly really fun to draw trash. A lot of these things were specific things that were in my trash, like the little puffy paint container was in my trash, the pencil shavings, the tops of strawberries. I won't go through every single little thing, but there are a lot of like specific things in here. Um, and then a lot of it is also just stuff that's like in my trash regularly. Maybe it wasn't in my trash today, but also I drew Oscar the Grouch. That's his name, right? Yes. And I have seen multiple people draw Oscar the Grouch on this page. I'm not sure who started it. If you are the one, comment below and I'll give you credit, but I'm not sure who did. I don't want to like copy anybody, but I couldn't resist because I just, I had the same thought and I just went with it even though I knew that like other people have been doing it already. And next we have the Polly Pocket page, which I don't know if you know what Polly Pockets are, if you had them when you were little, but I did. I was like really obsessed with it. Um, and this particular Polly Pocket, like this exact one that I've drawn here, was my favorite one and I lost it. I wasn't the kind of kid that lost stuff. I was always keeping track of every little piece of my toys and I was very particular about that. And I lost this and I don't know what happened. I remember I took it to show and tell, but after that it's all a blur. I don't know what happened to it and it haunted me for several years after that. I just was always looking for my little Polly Pocket and <laughs> I never found it. So <laughs> I drew it on this page because it's in a way it's 
I have it again. I had to look at a picture, obviously. This isn't all from memory. I found this Polly Pocket on the internet and I drew every little painful detail that I could possibly capture. I was talking about drawing from imagination earlier. That's my preferred way to draw. I don't like to draw by looking at things, especially like something that's as tiny as this. It took me a long time to actually complete this drawing, even though it's not like an amazing drawing or anything. It's was very difficult for me, um, but I'm really, really happy that I did it because now this Polly Pocket will forever be in my heart. We've got Create Patterns, and I'll be honest, like a quarter of the way through coloring it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't like it, I don't like it. I was originally gonna do a really flat style, um, but I ended up, because I decided I didn't like it, trying to add more depth and putting in the shadows and stuff that you see there now. Um, and after I did that, it like popped and I was like, woo, I love it. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with it now. By the way, some of you every once in a while will comment about this page, the rule page where you come up with your rule for the rest of the book. Um, and mine is to put a rainbow heart on every single page. Um, a lot of you will be like, oh, I guess you don't follow that rule anymore. But I actually, um, I do. <laughs> every single page has that rainbow heart on it. Sometimes it blends in, like in this page, it's, you probably wouldn't notice it. But it's always there, I always put that there. I have not forgotten since like episode two, I think I forgot once, but um, just make it into a game to find the rainbow heart and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. The cat cupcake page, I love this page. You guys know that I love cupcakes and also I love cats, I have a cat somewhere. Oh, he's sleeping right there. I'm not gonna wake him up, but I combined them and made a cat cupcake and it's really cute because I gave him I tried to like give him kind of an attitude. He like he doesn't really like to be a cupcake. <laughs> he's like forced into being a cupcake. The little dots on him are supposed to be like he's the um like the fun Fetty cakes. I had no idea what to do with the other page. I decided to just do a cherry pattern, cherry and star pattern. And I actually like how it turned out. And finally, oh my gosh, okay. The blind artwork page, it's such a mess. And I mean, of course I predicted this, everyone did. It was gonna be a mess. I sat there for quite a while, making sure that I had covered everything. I basically just felt around. You can kind of feel where there's the pencil because it's like waxy. I promise you I did not take off the blindfold. I, I probably won't get accused of cheating because it's very obvious that this is not my best work. But And then the word, I wrote relax just to remind myself when I see this page, just to remind myself to just relax and chill. And it <laughs> And actually the word came out really well. I don't know how, I just used my fingers to like keep track of the end of where, where I stopped on the last letter and somehow the spacing is like perfect. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I mean, next is my This Is Not A Book episode two. So be looking out for that. Um, and thank you for watching. See you guys later, bye.